Hey, hey, welcome to the show. My name is Thomas. We got Thomas, aka Excalibur, my game tag name. Um, we got Lamar Bridges, who not, who do nothing but make bridges and burn bridges, and then we got Cross, who always making the crossroads. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's uh, Mr. Yeah. Officer to you. Officer Cross. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Get him out of the car. Get him out of the car. <laughs> oh man! But yes, we will. We will be talking about today the golden age of video games and where they were and what they're missing. That'll be the beginning of our show. Um, I start off with saying games are missing a lot nowadays. It's 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 more of a grind than anything nowadays. Um, Cross couldn't have said it better one time in the conversation. He said, uh, it feels like a job. Some video games do feel like a job, you know, yeah. like a, a, a it's like you're clocking in just to grind and then you still don't get what you want and then you gotta try again next time. Um, I guess to me, a good example would be like, I know everybody played Destiny. One of the main reasons I stopped playing Destiny is because the grind was just way too much. Mm. If okay. anyone can remember when it first dropped, they had this thing called the, uh, the Vex. It was the Vex, Mythical Class Vex weapon. It was something like that. And it was like one of the best weapons in the game. And it was just so hard to get. And then it felt like we all had to do a raid. And that raid would last like four hours just to come out <laughs> with nothing. That's an so for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know they could have they could have done more with the reward system though. You know they didn't have to make it where it's it's you know you you sitting there and I mean people are dying and and it's hard it's hard unless if you practice all the time. But still, the point is you spent that long you would want something out of it. Right. Give me at least an exclusive outfit, something, something. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, this. And then, so, and then, I was saying, in the golden age of video games, you got more rewards for the things you did. You know, it was something you looked forward to. You beat the game, you was able to replay the game with unlimited health or, 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 or unlimited power or whatever, whatever the case. To be, interject, still, are you saying the difference is that you guys were having fun versus now? Yeah, is that is that really yeah. what the difference <laughs> is that you were having more fun playing them than what your enjoyment is now? One of the differences, I One would say. One of the differences, okay. Um, storytelling was a bit better back in the days. I mean, don't get me wrong. they got some good games out there that's got some amazing stories, hands down. But it's only one out of a, maybe <coughs> out of 10 games made, maybe three of them have real decent storylines. Back know? then? Or? Like we can, I mean, now. Back oh, then, now. it was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And now, you know, back then, I mean, storylines were good back then, too. Were yeah, they? I, I guess they weren't as good as this time. Wait, I guess what, that would be the What one is it, thing Streets of Rage? You, the guy kidnapped the, the mayor's daughter? No. Yep. That was Final was Fight. It? Final Fight. Yeah, you, you kidnap yeah. Cody's girlfriend and the, the yeah. mayor's daughter. And you get <laughs> you get them back. Streets of Rage was uh was uh Mr. X was trying to take over the city or something like that. And you okay. had three three ex cops that wanted to take him down. It was like a part of a syndicate or whatever right. the guy Mr. X was. But yeah, Final Fight was the one where they took <laughs> took his daughter. Mike Haggard. Jessica's been kidnapped. <laughs> Jessica My sweetheart since childhood. Oh, the mad man. gear must pay. She's my friend too. <laughs> Count me in. Like that was that was that was pretty much the gist of it. That was the story. Damn, 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 that was pretty much the gist of it. You know. Oh, I don't think man. a lot of us played those games for the story. You I think we just have. played those games because it was something fun to do at that time. Yeah. Um, there wasn't storytelling wasn't a big factor, especially for beat 'em ups. Beat 'em ups always had this generic, like like Double Dragon. The girl got punched in the stomach, and then they just carried they her just off, and then it's like, oh, <laughs> now we got to save her. Like, you know, it's that whole little then, thing, you know. And then um, on top of that, when you get there, you still got to beat, you mm -hmm. still got to fight with another over the girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah, it was like, was wait a minute, ain't that his girlfriend? <laughs> 
play. It, it was play. it was wild. It, it was crazy. It was wild. They, they, that's that, like that's like your girl get kidnapped. I'm like, okay, I'm about to be your brother. We are gonna go save her. And then at the end, I'm gonna fight you over your girl. What? I guess brothers do that. What <laughs> twin, <laughs> twin brothers? That's the whole point. Oh I mean, man, what what it, game? It's your girl though. Or what what game would you say back then had had a good story then? As far as video game, I guess it's 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 a pretty broad question because what, what uh what era are we talking? Yeah, that's what I was leading up to. Like, oh okay, what, bad, what, bad. no, you all get we all kind of synchronized in that. So, what okay. in your opinion, Thomas? What what era had a really good story that you would say was better than today's games and their stories? Um, I would say. The PlayStation Nintendo 64 era. Okay. Because um, uh, everybody was real big on Zelda. Zelda had a good storyline. Link's Awakening. That was like the first open world. I thought you were going to say Ocarina of Time. Right? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one I'm talking about. Okay. The one with the golden cartridge. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then... um, and then they had another good story too, Banjo Kazooie. I don't know if anyone heard about that, but that was a decent what story. What was the story for that? Um, what? Banjo lived in a little house and his sister played and and there was a witch that lived in a in her hut and she was really ugly and she wanted to become oh, okay. beautiful. So she I never, asked him really, I never played Banjo. Yeah, Banjo Kazooie is a that's, that's a that's you a know, legendary game to I me. always thought anyway. Banjo Kazooie had a similar story to like Donkey Kong. And that's probably why, like, whenever I think of Banjo, well, I mean, just, and it's interesting to say that because they're they're both from Rare. England. Yeah, yeah. Like the same people that made Donkey Kong made Banjo Kazooie. Right, right. So, and then the sister gets kidnapped by the witch because she wants to take the younger sister's youth and beauty for herself. Hmm. And so now, as Banjo, the older brother, he goes to come and try to save his sister. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. See, I never. I played Banjo Kazooie maybe a, a really small amount of time, so it was. I was. I guess it was just one of those games that I, I couldn't have really known the story for, because you know when you're young, or I can't say when you're young, but when I was young, I didn't have a lot of opportunity for gaming, so <laughs> I could only play like a selective few. <laughs> I replayed the hell out of Mario sixty four and never beat it. <laughs> Man, <laughs> uh, and it's crazy because I didn't get to beat Banjo Kazooie until I was at least what seventeen, eighteen. Okay. But I really got to sit and play the game without anyone else being in my way. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it was, a, it was it was a fun game. It was a fun game. It had a, like I said, I had a decent story. Yeah, you know, um, um, it was it was to me storytelling hasn't really been like that now. Okay. With particular games, I'm not gonna sit there and be like. All games because some right. games have amazing stories like like uh, <laughs> Uncharted and, and um and what's that game? Days Last, Last Ooh, of Us. That's the, Last of Us. That's uh, the one. Last yeah, I thought oh, Days Gone had a pretty good going one. Back, it did. It it was pretty cool. Um, going back to the PS2 days too. I liked it. The I really liked the Max Payne story. Very very. Yeah. Sorrow filled kind of yeah. story. It kind of reminded me of Punisher. Okay, I can I can see the similarities. I, I, I can see that. Yeah. yeah, took in the mob. Out. His family was murdered, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. you can say I can that. See yeah. the similarities. Yeah. Damn, that should have uh, made a Punisher uh, game like that. Story. <laughs> I know, right? That would have been amazing if they did. <laughs> <laughs> the Warriors from the movie, or yeah, well, there's the when they did the PS the video game. Two. Because they had to put in, they added in some stuff. They they had events leading up to the meeting right. um, of all the gangs. Right. So right. they had to they had to like not man, uh, manipulate, but like they had to they had to come up with that story. Yeah, and then they, they had, had to, to come up with longer. the other gangs, and <laughs> it was a lot. It was some development, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think those stories are pretty good. Um, uh, uh whew, God, with God of War. We already know about the God of War stories. I liked it Legendary. the way the stories were told through through Gaia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, the stories was told through that lady. I liked that her narration. Her narration is was top tier. I think uh, it's because yeah. the, and, and you know, this is why I call it like a, a PlayStation game. Like all of PlayStation games now, they're trying to be movies instead of being video games. So you have those <laughs> drawn out cutscenes where it's like you can tell, like, oh, this is a, a real actor doing <laughs> doing the performance mm-hmm. of this game and not a voice actor or something. You know what thing they need to stop doing, and it's not related to what we're talking about as far as um, just the golden era of gaming, but. I kind of just want to put that out there. I, I, like how you brought up the movie aspect of it. When they do trailers, they need to show more gameplay instead of showing me this long ass cinematic. I agree. You're trying to sell me something, you know, give me some gameplay. Give me a reason to play it. You know, right. I see the story. I see the story when I play it. Just let me see some gameplay. <laughs> yeah, you know? I agree. <laughs> they be killing me when they do that. <laughs> right. Because you can't judge like, a game damn. based off the trailers now. It's like, yeah, like, like damn, what did I bro, see? Bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. Bro, bro, the they flood the, like they flood the trailer with, with cinematics you be like damn you might see a game but like, ah, and it's like damn yeah. okay and then it's back to a cutscene like what the hell a like, running scene <laughs> right 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 uh, you know man. who was big on that was the final fantasy franchise ah uh, yeah they were real big yeah. on that they were real big on the cutscenes but you knew you knew the gameplay wasn't gonna match up to the cutscenes you just knew it <laughs> never does <laughs> <laughs> right they never do. They really do. What would uh? But yeah, I think. What would you guys say? What makes the games better back then versus now? Then. You know what? Cross couldn't have said it better one time. You got the whole game. Okay. You got the whole game. Okay. Like you got the whole game. You paid your money for it. Yeah. You got it all. You didn't have to worry about no 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 deal. You like like he made a valid point about Tekken when you buy the you when you buy Tekken Seven, they don't come with all the characters no more. You actually gotta buy characters that used to be already on yeah, the Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. And that that was like to me, that was like, wow, that's very true. Like we gotta spend twenty, thirty dollars just to get all the characters in a game that's supposed to come with the characters in the first place. <laughs> I deeply, I deeply miss, I deeply miss playing either story mode or arcade mode to unlock characters. Mm-hmm. I miss that a lot. I miss it a lot because it kind of you had to strive for something. You didn't just open up your wallet. You had to like play the game with each character, you know, and then you unlock that corresponding character. Like you know, Tekken had that where you know if let's say you play with I don't know Jack. You, you you play with Jack, you beat beat the game with Jack. Now you unlock Prototype Jack. You know what I'm saying? Like that was another character, kind of kind of similar move sets because they're same Jack, but it was the fact that it was a different you know um, character. Um, but the thing about older games that the newer games had is that a lot of our older games, when you unlock characters, all of it seemed like most of the characters played similar and by. A, a lot because mm-hmm. law and lee played just alike damn near okay you know what i'm saying but as the you know as time progressed and we got to these newer te- every they play differently you know that's what newer games have of older games but i think older games have it where you got the full product you don't have to buy carriage you don't have to buy stages you just have to do you know meet whatever um requirements may beat the game without losing a life or to continue or something like that play it on hard or mm-hmm. beat this boss in 30 seconds and you'll get the, the secret kazuya character or something like that you know um and another thing about it is that you don't have to worry about your games being so buggy because i we had our issues back in the days but they wasn't plagued with it a lot of these games like you said coming out and they're not they're they're just oh we can just patch it later we can mm-hmm. just throw a patch on it. You right, know? they rely heavy on the Back patches. Back then, you kind of had, they kind of had to make that game like, hey, we got to get this. And they had game testers and things of that such. And, you know, they had to get it. It wasn't perfect, but yeah. it was, I would say, like, at least 85 to 90%, you know what I'm saying, of of a success rate. Because, you know, games going to have their issues. But it's not like the games are, like, plagued with bugs. And they just, like, damn, now I fell through the stage. Or, damn, I this look weirder and they have to fix the faces and all that old crazy stuff. And it's just like, damn, you know, we just can't get it right the first time, right. you know? Um, 
And these are these are not even companies that are like just starting out. These are companies that have been in the game for over twenty some years. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. These are companies that have been been you know been down since almost as long as I've been alive, or maybe longer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like y'all yeah. making these rookie mistakes, man. Do you think it's because they keep switching engines with these games? Like almost every company man, tries a different engine. Know. That I don't know ooh. who to point the finger at. I don't know if it's the engine. I, I can say, speak on. I want to say it's the servers. It's got to be the servers. I don't know where it is. They they like if their servers are like they're paying Sony the user servers, and then they see not so many people play the game, so they don't do the upkeep with the servers, and then it starts bugging out. They don't do no magnets, you know, and it starts bugging out. That's one of the reasons I like Final so much is because I mean I'm paying for it all the time, but you got somebody mm-hmm. on the other end that's consistently maintaining the servers. Making sure the servers are running right, so that way the game isn't buggy. And that's mm-hmm. what's crazy with these games now. They come out with the games and they want to promise online play and all of this and that, but they have no one to maintain <laughs> the servers. Like we go through that with Grand Blue, Grand Blue Fantasy. <laughs> we play Man. and then and then all yeah, of a sudden yeah, I'm yeah. A get, I'm getting kicked out the room. If I'm hosting the game, I get kicked out and I get nothing. Error for has occurred. <laughs> I get nothing for everything they they did. <laughs> Yeah. I, um, it kept when I come. It back. kept doing this thing where it would kick out the host, or or what it would do is like after the fight, right? Yeah. After you beat the monster, it'll go in like slow motion, right? <laughs> and it, that's how you know, you know, the fight is over. Right. But it would stay in slow motion for a very long time, <laughs> and then it'll say Excalibur has left, or or Ground Zero has left, mm. or whoever whoever I'm in the game yeah. with has left, okay. which is one of the party members. And then the game would go, it'll go, dun, 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 victory and all that. He's like, damn, and then he had to kick some people out to readjust In order to get that like, victory. what's going on? Like, why I got to, or you had to quit out. You know, it was weird. It was weird. I, um, what I truly miss, and, and I think this is just because I'm a single player type of person, I miss when the games were more focused on local play. Mm-hmm. Not, um, not multiplayer. Because when you when you focus on multiplayer, like take basketball for instance. I've been playing NBA Two K since the Dreamcast, two thousand. <laughs> You're a brave <brainful> player. <laughs> From two thousand until let's say twenty ten, the online aspect was not the main focus of the game. The nah offline focus was so every year they added better features for your association they kept adding things that actually implemented into the game that made the game feel better once online became a very popular aspect to gaming that they figured we can make more money off of these people playing online they stopped focusing on that they started focusing on how can we get you two to play more than mm-hmm. how can we get you two to play at home with each other and now if you look at nba because you both say oh like booby said you're a brave soul for playing 2k but 2k was never bad until people started focusing on my park <laughs> that's when the game yeah. became bad <laughs> because it's all online and then to add on to it was the pay to win aspect you can put a hundred dollar. Well, no, it's, I'm pretty sure it's more than that. But um, you can put money into your character because everybody, you just want to pretty much be the best player, player online. So now, a set of this team focusing on the core of what a basketball game is, they rather focus on making sure you can play online. Like I don't play fighting games, but I'm pretty sure. Look at uh, which one was it? Street Fighters Five. They didn't even have a story mode for you because they were more focused on you playing the game online. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, as as far as going back, that they didn't even have market. arcade mode. They didn't even have an arcade, and that's the the uh-uh, single player. It was, it was just, the game. <laughs> yeah, they didn't even have arcade mode when it first came out. <laughs> they had to install that like later on. Yeah, they were they were like, rather have you play online because they. <clears throat> I mean, look, if we look at it, a lot of it is really just from the business tactic. If if they keep the 
if they keep the impl- implementation implementation of letting you unlock characters through story mode for a fighting game, they can't get you to pay money for the online. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. that's facts. That's if, facts. If anything, and then it's I, a, I wish we could just go back to that. Stop focusing is, on online. <laughs> I yeah. mean, I don't know, because I mean, online has its pros and cons. Like, if it wasn't for online, I wouldn't be able to play certain games with certain people across the globe. You know, that's that's the perk. But I still need to be coming from because games like twenty, uh, um, the basketball game, twenty K, ah, oh, damn it, whatever the game, the NBA two K. There you go. Yeah. Uh, um, mm-hmm. micro micro managing on that game is, or micro transactions on that game is real. Like mm-hmm. people oh, yeah. invest. Oh yeah, man, those invest hundreds of dollars in that game just to. <laughs> oh yeah. Just so they was, was it? Was it V bucks? Right. Is it, no, not V bucks. Yeah. Like, man, I think it's called V bucks. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, and then they don't. They don't only just buy that. They'll buy cosmetics. They'll buy uh, 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 all this other stuff that comes with it, and and skills, and 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 be top of their game without doing. They do nothing. shit on there that has nothing to do with basketball. I think I seen a dude punching or doing boxing or something like that. Yeah, um, I'm like, that's <laughs> probably like, what, what they did was what they did was they made they yeah, made do a MMO out of, out of basketball. Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They, they went they RPG MMO. with it. Yeah, yep. They yeah, now RPG people are leveling. It. They're doing like four part. They, they do four party games. Then they mm-hmm. do the A party games, and, and and then it's like they'll level up this character, they'll level up their shot or or their dribble or whatever it is that they do, and then yep. they'll um <laughs> and then they'll make it. Like I got people you know that, that are like serious about that stuff. Like they get I think it'll games. get I think it'll get bad <laughs> once football <laughs> if Madden makes a, a version of this where like they implement like NFL streets. <laughs> <laughs> Max. Yeah, it's gonna get I think bad. it'll get bad once they do it. it. Once toxic community <laughs> <laughs> implement NFL streets into Madden just for the my player aspect, that would be tight, but that would be crazy to see. And I hope they ever, don't ever do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's gonna be a very toxic community because the 2K is already a toxic community. Calling yeah. people weak. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's not like you playing a game. Like, you just press a button. You ain't out there really <laughs> shooting nothing. You, you ain't know? with me shooting in the gym. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you know, like, work on your real shot then. If that's the outside. <laughs> yeah, those people get so angry over that stuff. Uh, I don't get it. It's the game frustration, baby. <laughs> but let's um, get into the nitty gritty. And talk about Thomas' favorite subject, Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> That's my, my favorite subject, huh? His uh, favorite role, console. Well, Bill Gates has proud everybody. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> so recently, Xbox or Microsoft developer team, I believe they're called the research team, um, they released the article. Actually, it was a very long article, but the main focus that everyone and their mothers and their uncles focused on was that they are asking developers, why are you skipping us? (laughs) Damn. (laughs) Yeah. And I think this has been going on for quite a while, maybe two years now. And a lot of developers have not put their games out on Xbox. And it's, I guess it, it's starting to show. And I guess Phil and Sarah Bond are <clears throat> looking to figure out what the hell is going on. Why are why are these developers skipping them? And I think it's because of how they managed both systems, the Series X and the Series S. The Series S is, of course, the weaker console, which is why it's sold at a lower price. Mm-hmm. But they're forcing the developers to put games on both consoles and they can't have different aspects to them. Like how, for example, basketball, NBA 2K, they had a last gen version and they had a current gen version. 
and if you were on if you're on the PS4, the Xbox One, or at at the at the time PC, you would play last gen and everyone playing on Series X and S and PlayStation 5 would have the current gen. So Xbox is forcing developers to kind of try and make the game run virtually the same on both consoles, which it seems like it can't do, which is why Baldur's Gate had to release seven months later. Damn. I think I said that right, but it had to release several months later because they, the developers had to figure out what is uh, what can they do to get the Series S to run exactly the same as Series X. Those might be tongue ties. <laughs> Say it three times fast. <laughs> but uh, what what do you guys think? What what exactly do you think? Or from that article, what do you think could be why these games are or these developers are skipping over them and just going to PC and PlayStation? Um, uh, one of the things I remember reading was the fact that the they had a lot of software issues when it came to xbox and making their games right and i guess microsoft never really addressed it or did much to fix it versus playstation they were they were able to do more with it right and, right and they liked it and then um then they had the the x the x pass you know and and i think that was because they were trying to compete with sony you know when sony came out with the whole you know if you had the subscription which was only 10 bucks a month they gave you three free games a, 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 a month. Right. You know, and so they to compete with that, they came out with the X-Pass. And, <laughs> and the X-Pass pretty much came out with all the games, old and new. Mm-hmm. And if you think about it, you know, that kind of would kill... I mean, because they already have two consoles, old gen and new gen. Why keep an old gen console if the new gen can do everything the old one can do anyway? You know, and, and especially with X Pass, because that's what the X Pass did. It had all of the games, it had all of the Xbox games, all of the recent games, current games. They had them all. What's and X it Pass? Like, it was like it's like um, it's like uh, uh have you ever heard of GameFly? Remember GameFly? Oh, Game Pass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm like, wait, so I didn't just like read the, the X Pass. What, what was that? One? I thought that's what it was called. X Pass. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes to show you, I'm out of X Pass. He just gave him a new. Uh, <laughs> he gave him a new name. Huh? <laughs> yeah. X Pass. Uh, so we don't get your X Pass. We now. got Remake Station, and we got the X Pass, baby. <laughs> man. <laughs> For real. Oh man. And so like you know. I, I really believe the X Pass didn't do as good as they thought it was gonna do. Yeah, you thought it was gonna do bad, or <laughs> I, mean, I thought it was gonna, I thought it was gonna do okay. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. It, didn't, it didn't do that great. It didn't do that great. Clearly, you don't think they're so? out of business now. No, nah. nah. what? That is it like didn't. their their biggest come up. That's it's their bread and butter, isn't it? That's <laughs> how I do you mean, think they're able to afford <laughs> buying stuff? I mean. It, I don't know. I mean, clearly it didn't do too well, did it? Sixty nine billion dollars for Activision. What do you mean it didn't do well? (laughs) Activision now. (laughs) Damn. Sixty nine billion. If they they did so well, then why they going up? Why they not making no more consoles? Why they why they closing down? Why make a mid gen console when no one's buying their console right now? Wouldn't that be a waste of money? I think that's why people. I think that's why people are skip. Well, I think that's why people are skipping them because of the console. They're not selling. uh, They selling their consoles as well, Mm. and uh, a lot of people are flocking to PlayStation or PC. A lot of people are really going to PC too, though. PC been because you know what? If I could come from a um, that's affordable. A mine, a a mine, um, um, and it's a lot of things you can do with PC. Yeah, you got Steam and you got. you can mod it. You can of, emulate. You can do a lot of stuff with yeah, PC. Yeah. If Console, you can only me. you can only do what they allow you to do. Right. PC is what you can do what you dream, I guess, of doing. If that makes any sense. <laughs> I'll fucking come from a um, I don't know a business way of looking at it. I guess 
or maybe a therapist way of looking at it. Mm-hmm. PlayStation has been around for years. Yeah. PlayStation is, we all grew up playing PlayStation. Right. We didn't all grow up playing Xbox. Or 96. Yeah. Was yeah. it 95? Yeah, I believe if yeah. Xbox was out. 2000, the time that 2001, was right? Was yeah. out, I, I think Xbox would be doing better because people would have more of a connection to it. But see, I think what messed up Xbox is the fact that when they came out, they didn't come out amazing. They came out mediocre. Yeah, because people are already gravitated to PlayStation. They're used to the PlayStation controller. They're used to their games, and people don't really like change. Mm-hmm. So when Xbox dropped, they were like, "No, I'm not about to go to that. That's too new. That's too different." And the controller looks ugly. You know, it didn't even feel appealing because it was that really controller big was beefy and though. bulky. You know, they mm-hmm. if they were gonna come. That's out, why they had to dumb it down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you see, they, um, they would have came out with well, not like, dumb it down. That's if they would have came out with <laughs> something like really, really amazing. Like that would have blown people's they'll, they'll really change the gaming forever. Mm-hmm. Xbox would have been better, but they didn't. But PlayStation did. Well, PlayStation are you talking about Xbox from when had it some first good started, exclusives though? Are you when talking they came about out. 2014? Because I mean, those are two different. Those are two different issues. <laughs> are you talking about when they first started? Because 2000. I'm talking about when they first started. No, when they first they started. Because if you think about it, because when you first about think about it, like 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 when you first think about it, everybody was already familiar with PlayStation. Xbox was new to the scene, you know. So when Xbox first dropped, Halo like, was the main drive. Like they, they, um, yeah, they did was, well. They, was, they did well was, when they was, came but out. It was, still, it was like, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like so well to the point where people would just stop buying PlayStation. PlayStation did well too. PlayStation also had some good drops. That's not what Xbox it, just. That was that wouldn't was be the case because like, the 360 wouldn't have done well. Right, yeah. that's what I'm getting at. Like the 360 didn't do all that it well. Did. I mean, what it did. What do you okay, mean? But <laughs> I it, thought it, it did. did. <laughs> Thomas, <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> what? The I mean, 360. Who, who damn near playing outsold. 360 back in those times? Because I sure didn't have one. I had a PlayStation. So are you speaking from your pers- your perspective or are you speaking general? Because <laughs> I mean, everybody I talked to had a PlayStation. I didn't know no Xbox people, so I figured. You, I okay, they, so your circle had a PlayStation, so you just assumed the world didn't get an Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> or if they I, did, they still I, play PlayStation. I remember <laughs> people buying the, um in high school because I remember they was buying the Xboxes. I remember I got one. I had got one from Sears from the Ball Hills Mall. Yeah. I remember getting one from Sears, and I remember. I remember my homeboy Brandon talking about the Xbox. He used to make they, jokes. And then, they, and then they used to have like the red ring of death when Xbox first. Yeah, the 360. Yeah. Not when the <laughs> first Xbox did. The first Xbox didn't have a red the ring. The second ring generation did. did. The, the 360 what, did had that. What they haven't came back from is the Xbox One generation. Like you said, people don't change. And so no one wants to go back. Was it their marketing that messed them up? Yeah, because the 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 guy was pushing for TV in the Connect games. Yeah, and, yeah, and the yeah, Connect yeah. games were that not Connect good. was stupid. Oh, that Connect all. was tragic. <laughs> <laughs> I think didn't he do that to try to compete with the Wii? Mm-hmm. He thought the Wii. Oh, yeah, was, they the did. Wii. He, no, not the Wii. Sorry, but he thought the Wii the was Wii. going to be. He thought that was going to be the new. Uh, wave because remember mm. we had a talk about that where you're like uh, that connect they were like yeah they made the Wii for for us because they thought we were too fat and now they don't do it anymore <laughs> yeah because you know that's considered fat shame now, so. yeah be careful with that <laughs> I like that that bowling game that bowling game was yeah the tight, Wii Sports man. is what and it's funny because yeah, if I you like look at Sports. it Wii Sports looks like it just so like hotcakes but it came with the system it came with the system so it always looked like it was like the number one selling game <laughs> <laughs> and then and then I think that's what really happened at Xbox they they weren't familiar enough. They weren't, mm. they weren't, um, everybody wasn't too accepting of the change. They forgot I mean, about gaming, man. It was too late. It was, it was too late. They, with the one, they forgot about gaming. What do you mean? 
How did they forget? They was about pushing because they was pushing like TV, like he was like Lamar was saying. It was pushing TV and like other things you can do with your Xbox besides like having good games on the Xbox. It didn't pump you up to buy an xbox to play video games they tried to pump you up to like do other stuff with the xbox besides play video games right right yeah it was and they just didn't have a lot of exclusives yeah, yeah. on the xbox one like they didn't they they had halo but i don't know halo, halo started losing so its steam mm. yeah halo only took them so far i would say the biggest difference is between sony and halo or the type of gamers there were too because Xbox could more cater to like the first person shooters, yeah, uh, the Call of Duties, and 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 um, I remember and, those are rumors, Years of War, but, um, and then you got Sony on the other hand, they're more like the, the God of War, and they're more like the hack and slash, and and then they still catered also to the um, the Call of Duty people as well. So it's like you kind of got the best of both worlds with Sony. Versus Xbox, they just kind of stayed with the the first person shooters as their exclusives, you know. Because I mean, like Sony back in God of War was only on PlayStation, and you know God of War was a success in its own right. And then you look at Xbox; they only had Halo, and another game similar to Halo would have been um um Gears of War. That was just the third person shooter. I mean, you look at the exclusives of Sony, you had Uncharted. Uncharted was in its own realm. It was Uncharted this changed this gameplay because of Gears. <laughs> it did? Yeah. Yeah, because they both had a duck and cover system. <laughs> they did, didn't they? That's yeah. true. But still, Uncharted was great. It still had a good storyline. I guess Gears of War had a good storyline, too. Yeah, they did. They was fighting against they the Locusts, did. and pretty much it was the end but of the still, world. Still, you still had the hack and slash aspect too, like with God of War, that they were giving that the Xbox was kind of lacking in. At least in my opinion, they were. Xbox didn't have a lot of the adventure-looking type right. of games um, because yeah, most people, most people uh, not even most majority of the generation was playing Call of Duty. Yeah, Call of Duty is a console seller, so them lobbies was everybody. Live, yeah that played a video game around that time was playing Modern Warfare and Black the Lobbies Ops. was live. <laughs> and even now to this day, those are that game, that genre of whatever you want to call it is still a console seller. People are going to flock whenever wherever Call of Duty is. That's what majority of people were playing on 360 because like Cross said, the lobby you you can the look at tons of videos 15 years ago and it's all Man, like Call of Duty. Live. It's yeah. all Call of Duty. Live. They were that saying stuff true. that'll get you banned today, man. You would come across people that were racist. You would come you were coming across all walks of life on there, especially if you was yeah. a person that was really good at the game. <laughs> I, I remember watching YouTube and just listening to some of the stuff. It was little kids, kids like eleven years old talking real greasy on the mic. <laughs> greasy, <laughs> they was greasy. Yo. I'm talking that that greasy fat. That's what they was talking. Yo. They was <laughs> that shit. yeah, <laughs> man. It was kids. <laughs> Them kids was raw. They, I'm pretty sure they're adults now, but them kids was raw yeah. back then. They was doing their greasiness. <laughs> yeah, they was <laughs> slick tongue. And, yeah. uh, and, and then that's what I mean. Like I think, like that's what I really think. That's what talks Xbox off is that they only catered to the to the uh, the Call of Duty franchise and and customers. They didn't cater to all other aspects of gamers. When PlayStation catered to all of them, he was able to get everything in the song. He was able to get your adventures, and if you was Call of Duty, he was able to get your Call of Duty. Like they had it, they had it all, and they and they and they and they, and they excelled in it with the way it looks and everything. So until Xbox was gonna get on that same level, they was already at a disadvantage. 
I'm gonna need you to start yeah, doing more research about what you say and tell me. You don't think you don't think I'm right. You don't think I'm right. You don't think I'm Again, right. Again, no. the 360 damn near outsold PlayStation 3. What killed them was Xbox One generation. The the Connect. The first Xbox. Did, <laughs> I, the first Xbox. So the Connect. They they, they, had, they waited they too long of, to make the first video Xbox games. Had, they had a lot of exclusives. On Xbox, because you can play. I the first, my favorite Assassin's Creed Unity was on the Xbox One. So, oh, that's your favorite Assassin's Creed. Yeah, that's my favorite. The fact that we let you do this rant and this banter is blasphemous. (laughs) (laughs) I hold up the Sony flag. The fact that you you just did that dire dialogue, I may have to cut this out now. <laughs> but um, you love Xbox. <laughs> but uh, again, just like how they waited very long to make games for the Xbox One generation, why why now ask these developers? Why haven't you put your game on our systems? Why now when I, what we're like, we're reaching year five. <laughs> we're reaching year five of your, your cycle. What What is it? So is it just Xbox doing bad business or or what? <laughs> mm-hmm. um, maybe it's the bad business. Maybe bad what's business his name wasn't around like that. Yeah, maybe it wasn't. Bill Gates should have showed his face a lot more in his company. But he though. not he don't he not a part of. Um... <laughs> well, he's just Microsoft. I, I get why you saying Bill Gates because it's it is Microsoft. <laughs> oh yeah, but Phil Spencer. <laughs> I didn't is think the he. I didn't think he had anything developer. to do with it anymore. I thought he because uh, he don't be at the when they be hosting stuff. Yeah, and... yeah, that's because they have it like you know there's, there's different boards to it. That's why like whenever oh, okay. you hear about Phil Spencer is because he's ahead of Xbox. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So it's still considered Microsoft Xbox? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought I stopped seeing Bill Gates. I thought they kind of, I thought he kind of just ran his course and just. Yeah, like, Bill, Bill Gates is trying or to sold be. sold it or whatever. Uh, what do you call it? Philanthropist? Man, he doing the most. <laughs> he trying to. Buying all that land. <laughs> yeah. He, he doing the most. Because he's still but, um, selling yeah, software. And, you know, they don't. When is something going on with them not dealing with like they're not dealing with the uh I ain't trying to make it a race thing or nothing like that or culture thing, but mm. a lot of the some of the companies that be like do JRPGs and stuff, they a lot of the companies are like from Japan and stuff, they don't really Yeah, they wasn't developing their the games Xbox. to Xbox for a while. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's why like, we got the TGS Tokyo. Um, that's why we had that mm-hmm. show. So, yeah, is it just just bad business? And I know, <laughs> I know, uh, Wukong kind of made a, the people that made Wukong made some had some tough words for uh, Xbox. Yeah, I don't I, remember. I think they said what they said. I think they said. I think they said something about the development and that uh, yeah. Microsoft wasn't responding. Um, to their emails about getting their game on there. Mm, see, so that's a bad business thing right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hands down. Not responding, you know, that's, you, you you messing up. Yeah, yeah, that's. I mean, hey, you guys got those damn studios. Start making some stuff happen. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's probably Fact. the best thing that you can do at this point. <laughs> you, you got you got rare. <laughs> we ain't seen nothing from them since. Uh, it's funny because these fools thought they were gonna. They the reason why they got rare, at least what I from what I've heard back in the day. Mm-hmm. This was back on when Xbox One first hit the scene. I would say, and they had acquired Rare. They thought they was getting Donkey Kong and stuff. Mm. Oh, they yeah. They yeah, they Kong. thought they were getting Donkey Kong and those games because they thought that it was made by Rare. Mm-hmm. Rare only their graphic, something like that. Nintendo owned Donkey Kong. 
Yeah. <laughs> and they thought they were getting that stuff, so they ended up getting that. Or that's that's what the rumor said, and they, that's how okay. they only ended up with um, Battle Toads and um, yeah, because Battle Toads was owned by Rare and uh, Killer mm-hmm. Instinct. That's why okay. we got the Killer Instinct on Xbox. Right, right. That's the only ones. That's the only games that they actually acquired. But it's crazy you know because Killer perfect Instinct dark, was, was, was be only a on Nintendo. Dark game. Yeah, they did make Perfect Dark. No, I'm saying yeah, yeah he had Thomas had on uh, was that the Xbox 360, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. No, so it I'm was. saying they're supposed to be making another one. Oh, for real? Yeah, they're that's supposed to be in the the makings. I don't know. I hopefully, I mean, we'll see. I guess then that would be a Xbox exclusive until I guess they put it on everything else. <laughs> that's another thing they put all their games <laughs> on other systems now it's funny they bought yeah. bethesda they, they bought they bought all these all these companies they was on a buying spree and then you know they now they turn and tell or i don't know because i mean are all the exclusives going to go to playstation in the near future yeah it's like what was I all that know, i haven't heard that confirmed but as far yeah, as like, what I they came got, to they, it Indiana Jones is supposedly going to the PlayStation. Mm-hmm. We got High Fire Rush. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, that's not a big game in its own right. I mean, it kind of—I don't know if it got slept on, but nah, I didn't hear a lot of in, it. It was in your your top ten PlayStation store. Oh, okay. same with Minecraft and Pennant. Okay. I wanted <laughs> what's the name to come over to the PlayStation. I still was waiting on that, but I don't know if it's ever. I want Forza. Come. Nah, Forza? Sunset Horizon. Yeah, I want Forza. I mean, Sunset was it? Was that shit? Sunset Dang Overdrive. Going? Sunset Overdrive. Overdrive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sunset ah, Overdrive was pretty tight. good. It was pretty good. Yeah, hey, looked tight. I wanted that to come over, but I think that's <laughs> one of the ones that's just lost in the weeds. Probably. I think it came out <laughs> Xbox um, One generation. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it was pretty fun. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. bad. It was like a a grind game. It was. You had to keep moving, or you <laughs> the damn uh, soda monsters Man, would come slap you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. like the flood yeah. off Halo. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is what made me kind of upset when they when Exomniac went to PlayStation. I was like, ah, oh, come on, y'all, y'all making Spider Man and y'all going straight to Sony. I guess Sony got a better deal. Yeah, they they paid them. They bought them yeah, out. They gave yeah, they had a better deal. Which is which is they the sure the whole reason why a lot of exclusives don't go to Xbox because Sony pays it. Yeah, I was gonna say another thing too on why I think Xbox. This is just me thinking. Mm. I don't know. This is just me guessing. <laughs> it's blasphemous. <laughs> don't say it. It's blasphemous. <laughs> <laughs> I really think another reason why they could have went out of business is because a lot of their games could have flopped. Yeah, a, a lot, lot of, of games are flopping. flopping. And and then what I, what I was learning in the gaming industry, you only got so many investors that invest in a game, they got mm-hmm. a deadline for the game, and they expect it to make this a certain amount of progress by that time. Mm-hmm. And if the game isn't made by that time, it's either getting pushed back. And if it gets pushed back, that's terrible because the investors are looking like, they do they still want to continue investing because now they got a new launch date. And then if, let's just say, they do and then the game launches mm. and it still flops it's that's even more bad because the investors are losing money the game industry is losing money and there's like nothing is being replaced and then the investors leave they leave and then now the game company goes on out of business until they could come up with another game to save them is that what, so, that's what's happening um, with Ubisoft I was going to say that would be my only counter to them because like I or, don't has any Assassin's Creed made money? Not, no, well, not mean, any, I but think, the last the few years. I think the only Black thing that's kept Flag, in the business uh, was, um, yeah, uh, Black Flag did really good. Everybody loved Assassin's Creed uh, Black Flag. I did. What came after um, Black Flag? Unity was, was kind of like, people say it's good now, I guess, but I guess when it came out, it didn't do so I didn't so think well. people liked it when it first came out. I mean, I loved Unity. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. It, it, I, when it, it came first came out, I don't remember people talking. They was talking bad was just, about the game. It was just so but funny. Then, 
if they could have just if they could have came out with it with it being smooth sailing and like they really worked on the multiplayer aspect, it could have been a much better game. Mm-hmm. But they didn't do it, and so like when people wanted to play the multiplayer, it didn't do that great because it was just buggy. You right. Know? I mean, it was it was That's buggy what I beyond belief. Yeah, yeah. And that was so, a lot of the issues with it. But then you had could, Syndicate. <laughs> yeah, Syndicate. Syndicate. Origins, Syndicate got looked over. Odyssey, Valhalla. Origins did didn't good. Do too bad. Origins didn't do too bad. It and then really Odyssey good. didn't do too bad either. Yeah, so they got me though. And then they don't forget the, uh, all the Far Cries. They got me. Yeah, it's like what? Um, did Far any Cry of these two games is probably make... the best Far Cry they they had. Far Cry three. Yeah, I, I like four. I'm going with five. <laughs> five. I mean, um, the one with the cult. Yeah, five. Okay, that's five. Five. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the one. That I was like, the one yeah, I liked yeah, too, because yeah. of the, I just because yeah. of that storyline. I, I I was like. I thought the storyline was probably the best one. I didn't play a Man, lot of six, so I can't say much. I played six, six, right. but it, it, six it, it was, was it was cool, but it wasn't it wasn't on par with five. Okay, and four was a pretty good storyline too. Yeah, but the only difference with four was it was only single player. Like if they would have kept four with a two player concept, four would have been great because mm. then you could experience it with help, you know, and you need help in that game. And as we experienced in five, <laughs> doing it by yourself can be challenging. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <No. laughs> and, and yeah. And so like, like four was good too. Cause you know, his friends got kidnapped and a matter of fact, four had the, um, they had the best villain. Four had they the had, best villain. They got awarded for the best villain. Yeah, yeah they did. Four? You're right. With, um, yeah, four did yeah. get awarded for it. That dude with the pink uh, tuxedo. With the mohawk. What? Yep. He was better yeah. than Voss. No, the dude, it was the dude with the mohawk. The one where he had the, the oh, head in the sand. That's three. That's Voss. That's, that's three. Yeah, yeah that's, that's three. Oh, that's three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I was referring to. Yeah, Voss. Um, yeah, because they did a remake for that one. Yeah. That was the only one that got a remake. Mm, you're yeah, right. You're right. He was, he was one of the villains. I like the three because the character you play with was not even a warrior. He was yeah. a person that was on vacation with his friends, and they all got <laughs> kidnapped. I think they was rich kids or something like that, mm-hmm. and they end up, you know, pirates came and started, you know, wreaking havoc and whatnot, kidnapped his friends, and he had to really like muster up the strength to do the things that he did, which means skinning the, you know, skinning the animals, and, and every time you do one, he go, ugh, and put the skin in his bag, and at the, he had, he literally, he was, he went through hell. That dude <laughs> went through hell. He went through hell. He turned into a warrior over the, the time that you've been playing the game. Right. <laughs> yeah. And Voss was yeah. a psychopath. The other, and it's crazy, because four, you can beat the game by just leaving with old boy. Yeah, at the beginning. Yeah, yeah at the beginning. You can beat the game at the beginning. Are you? Because all you doing it? All all that guy was there for was to spread his mother's ashes or something like that. He went back uh, to that place to spread his mother's ashes. I think. I think so. Or something like that. I never I played four. Oh, you skipped four. Yeah. yeah, I didn't get a chance to play four. <laughs> um. I played five, two, and six. I'll say you didn't play the first one. The first one, no, I didn't play the first. I didn't play the first. You had superpowers, man. The first, the first one made you feel you were an animal like you. you yeah, got to use you had animal like powers. Animal instincts. The second one, they went yep. way. It's crazy how how they started the Far Cry games and then where, <laughs> they, where is that now? They didn't even continue. Know, same, right? You can say the same thing with Assassin's Creed. With Assassin's Creed, yeah. The whole thing was about that dude's DNA, his bloodline, and then like and yep. them going up against the Templars. They were trying to find that secret. And it was about an apple, right, Thomas? It was about... Yep, sure Because he knows better about the story. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was about an apple. They, they, the Templars had captured... Um, I forgot his name. Uh, the main character, they captured him. Desmond. And Desmond, there you go. Yes, yeah. they captured Desmond, and they wanted to figure out the art. They wanted the artifacts, and the his, apple was one of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then so they went. It was into part of the ancestry. Okay. Right, okay. right. So they put him onto this machine. Mm-hmm, the and, animus. Um, the animus. There it is. They put him into the animus, and then they would go through his DNA, and the machine technology was able to to see 
from his ancestors' mm-hmm. point of view okay. that he didn't yep. even know was his ancestors. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, and then he got to find out what his ancestors did to hide what they were looking for. Right. And then, so all in all, when Desmond was learning about himself as they're learning about where to go, Desmond didn't even know he was an assassin. He he mm. just he was just a regular guy working at a bar. And then now and he found out, and it was crazy because they had a little twist in it. They like one of the people that was working with the Templars was actually an assassin too. Mm. She yeah. was on one that was on break him out of there. And and I think if they would have kept that storyline going. It would have been a better game for the whole franchise. Yeah, because they, they they end up killing him off. They killed Desmond off in the third one. I think he died in yeah the third one, the one where um when he when, when he they went back to like George Washington days or whatever. Yeah, yeah. They sure mm-hmm. did. They, they killed him. They killed the main character off, and then it just kind of just they just. I don't know. They went to Black Flag, and Black Flag was good. It was successful because of the stuff you can do. You can be a pirate, and you can weld. That's what it? made Black Flag good. Hunt wells and stuff. Pirate you can do really well. But I never, I never remember the, the storyline to it. And then they just kept, they just kept going in different. It went from a person that had an ancestor that was a, a assassin. I was going up against a, a common villain, or a, a, well, I guess yeah, a common villain. And then they kind of just went in other directions. They they went to Louisiana with that black girl. They went to the the slavery with the other black dude. Uh, uh, then they jumped to Origins, which is Egypt. Then they just was ju- they just was jumping everywhere. Syndicate and none of them had connections. It was just like I think I think the one with the slavery was connected to the one with the Louisiana. The well, Louisiana. Valhalla is the connection for Mirage. No, oh, okay. So yeah. there's a connection really? there. Yeah, so um I didn't play neither one of the dude I have that Mirage, but I didn't beat it. Uh so well, I didn't I played Valhalla, I didn't play Mirage. Uh so the dude in Mirage meets the Viking um in Valhalla and he teaches him hmm. about how to be an assassin. Um I don't Ooh, know if you he teaches the dude from wow. Mirage teaches the yeah. the Viking. Yeah. So um, so the Mirage was before the Valhalla. Then you can say as far that. As a story? You can say that okay. because in Mirage you play as uh, what's the guy's name? Thomas ba- Boss or something like that. Boss. Yeah. That's yeah. His name. He, so yeah. in Mirage, he learns how to become an assassin, and and Valhalla, he's already a master assassin. And so, um, but were they really assassins? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> he, he, he didn't do he didn't do the uh, the stuff in Valhalla. He, Did he do assassinations though? Yeah, like, you, you you can do the sneak attacks as far as those no assassinations, way. but he okay. he didn't want to okay. do it how they did because you know all the assassins they lose that ring finger. Um, he's like, I'm yeah, not yeah, doing yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah. he put it on top of his. Uh, yeah, he put it on top of his wrist. So like his is more of a brutality yeah, yeah. than. Like a smooth okay. way to assassinate them, but it had assass. It was assassination missions. Like you got targets and mm-hmm. all that, though, right? Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Because you know, it's okay. the one thing about the Assassin's Creed games. You can always find at least one or two, sometimes three different ways to approach the 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 uh, target. Whereas in Valhalla, you kind of. You had different ways, but since you're a Viking, you know they usually just <laughs> charge in and just, yeah, they just raid. <laughs> yeah, I'm right up in there, like I'm coming yeah, for you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell, hi! <laughs> um, Stop the emulation. Nintendo has found a way to get the last Nintendo Switch emulator. I uh, I believe he goes by Re- Ryu Jinx. Uh, some guy in Brazil. You know, it's a funny story. They have like a joke, like Nintendo Nintendo's lawyers like knocked on his door and made an offer he couldn't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> they They've been getting funny. people. They got that. They got that power. They now they getting at him. Yeah, <laughs> they taking them down, it's, ain't they? It's, they? I guess they trying to finish the year off strong because man, that, you know that was like one of the biggest things that made the Steam Deck so popular. You can emulate. Almost everything 
And now that Nintendo mm. is starting to close in on these windows, I wonder if it's because they're trying to protect assets for the, the Super Switch is what I'm going to start calling it. Super Switch. Yeah, super I'm going to call it the Super <laughs> Switch. Because I think they're doing it. I think they're doing it just because, as a uh, as a matter of business, I think they're doing it because yeah. they'll lose money. They'll lose money if there are other emulators out there mm -hmm. where people can just play it for free, right? Versus spending sixty dollars on their games. That's and exactly what they what see. It their is. money, they see their money acting funny. They like, okay, what's going oh, yeah. on? Oh yeah, they're yeah. gonna step on. They're gonna they, step up, step they, to they, it. They, they start. They start really picking down, and they got the resources for it. This I'm is gonna, Nintendo. Here, I'm gonna piggyback off that, Thomas. Um, what's that recent uh, Legend of Zelda game that came out? I think. It oh, was, the new one. Yeah, the one you play with. Um, with, with Zelda. You play as uh, Zelda. Yeah. yeah, you play as Zelda. Someone already emulated that. <laughs> Damn. Oh. Someone wow. already emulated that. So, I guess once you you know once you put something on the internet, it's there forever. Because mm -hmm. some people, some people were gonna clip it, and whoever it was, they just ruined the Steam Deck for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> they just ruined it because now, yeah. if Nintendo sees like, "Hey, this game just came out," you already got a, a emulation code for this. We gotta, we gotta stop this because who knows what they'll do when the Super Switch comes out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just stop it. Like I mean, <laughs> if they don't stop it now, if they don't stop it right now, they can emulate. They already have emulated the Super Nintendo, their sixty four, and everything else. But see, the difference between then and now is now they're charging people for these emulators. You know, they're charging people for the Game Boy emulator, mm -hmm. the Super Nintendo, the Genesis. And uh, even the 64, they, they, they get, it's all included in the subscription. At one point in time, they, I don't think they cared because they weren't losing money off of it because they weren't charging anybody off right. of it. But now, since they're making money off of it and they're, the emulators are still out there, then if people find out about them, they can lose money behind it. And yeah. they don't want to lose the money that they just started bringing in. Right, right. So, yeah, they're going to they're gonna crack down. They're going to be like the Andersons, you know. They're going to be all over the place <laughs> yeah. looking for Neo. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Agent Smith. <laughs> yeah. Man. Agent Smith would. I agree wholeheartedly because... Um, my only thing was, and I and I, I was a dummy. I paid for that subscription. Why didn't they put a lot of the Game Boy Advance games on there? That that they did. When they I did. when I got it, and it was like I think they just took their time doing it because they took their time. They can you play all of the Pokemon games on there? Oh, uh, they got a lot of them on there. I think you can. I gotta check it. Yeah, see, I know um, I couldn't find none of the advanced Pokemon games. I know they put like Golden Sun on there, but I mean, like, yeah, it's Golden. Yeah, Sun. Yeah, that's the latest they put on there. I like Golden Sun. <laughs> then, I was like, oh, God, they put Golden the uh, on there? they put F Zero on there, the the Game Boy Advance one. That shit is. <laughs> that game is hard to play. <laughs> but I mean, like, they didn't put like Legacy of Goku on there. Legacy Goku one, nah, two, didn't. or three. They didn't put. Hell, they don't even have Mario versus. You know, again, they Donkey should have put Kong on there. there. They should have put. They should have put Dragon Ball Z Super Sonic. Yeah, Warriors. like this is that was it's a tight. lot of I Game like Boy that. events because, like, as far as Nintendo go, we've all been around with Nintendo. You know, we took her out on dates. We all, you know, took her to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> But the Game Boy Advance <laughs> Nintendo, that was that was the one, you know, that was the one that I, I right. thought I was gonna marry, and and I'm kind of upset <laughs> they ain't put none of the damn games that I want on there, man. <laughs> I would say just I would say just wait, just wait it out. They're gonna most likely they're gonna have all of them on there because if anything, it's a licensing thing mm -hmm. or licensing issue when trying to do it the right way. Mm -hmm. Yes, they could just mm -hmm. put it on there, but then they don't want to get sued. Cause they other game it. companies, <laughs> yeah, because they they sue people, yeah, you know. So they're the sewers; they, they, they can't be uh, sued. <laughs> yeah, right, right. So they're they're don't get me wrong; they have the resources and money for it. Right, they're they're gonna get it on there eventually. Yeah, and then um, it's just taking longer because they got to get through all the contracts and 
all the what 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 they get out of it, you know, and and stuff like that, and and then um they'll get there. You notice the Nintendo 64 emulator, they came out with quite a few games since the last time I had checked. Mm-hmm. I mean, they got Extreme G on there now. They got um, Banjo Kazooie, Mario Kart 64. They got um, Donkey Kong 64. They really mm-hmm. like they put maybe a lot that's of why they shut down these emulators so so they can just right, keep that that's money. what I was saying. Mm-hmm. Exactly, that's what I was saying. They they the people are paying for this now, and and if their emulators are out there and they grow bigger and people get a hold of it, they're not going to want to pay the subscription no more. And Nintendo's yeah. not going to have that. Yeah, I can I can understand that. Butter. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense because I, I say the same thing. Like, why buy an Xbox when you can just get a computer, or why buy a PlayStation when you can just play it on your Steam Deck? So it's like, as far as a business aspect, yeah, it makes sense to try and knock all of these emulators down. Which which is kind of funny because a lot of people, like we we scrutinize Xbox and we scrutinize playstation for their business tactics but i guess does that make nintendo like the 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 only one that's okay with it like do we give them a pass because Man. of nintendo <laughs> I, only i will say about nintendo is that i that i gotta have hats off to them is they cater to the they cater to every audience i agree like, they're the only ones that cater to every I audience agree. you got aunties playing switch you got Mothers playing Switch. You got girlfriends <laughs> playing Switch. I mean, hey, I'm like, in the Switch game. Group. It, it's it's yeah, a I'm realm of people in there. Too, but I mean, but I'm a point, but we're gamers though. We, yeah. we will play. We'll play anything. You got people who don't game like us, but they'll yeah. play a Switch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They'll play like, a Switch. I, I'm in a Facebook you know, they'll, group. They'll play that. Oh, yeah. see, look at that. Yeah, I'm in a Facebook <laughs> group. That, that. It's it's realms. Of, it's like people from all it's generations. It's a lot, dude. <laughs> yeah, yep. yeah, and that's where, and then, yep. and then I got to give hats off to Nintendo for that because that's what kept them in the game. Yeah, like, Man. like they got kids, kids, kids playing this stuff. Yep. You know, <laughs> true, <laughs> for real, not nah, for real, true, for real, true. Because <laughs> I, I say it all the time. Man. You can play. There's almost a Mario game for every genre that you want to play. Right. <laughs> right. You got Mario Party, Mario Kart. Yeah, you want to race, World. you want to adventure. No, no. It, it, it's, yep. it's, it's crazy how they, that one one icon touches almost a lot of aspects. I'm just waiting for a Mario Dark Souls. It's over with. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. He's gonna play basketball. He plays soccer. Yep, yep. But you want to know one thing that kind of what I said earlier? Everyone's familiar with Mario. Mario been around since Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Everybody remembers Mario. They never changed from their eighty-eight thing. They've only improved upon what was already existing. They didn't change anything too tough, right? right. Because they didn't want to lose their fan base, and it worked. Yeah, it really works. Like people, I could I tell, I could, I could call, con- conversate with anybody. Oh, you game? Yeah, I play Mario. Mm-hmm. I sure do. I play Mario. Yeah, they like true. the old to the new. <laughs> very true. Very true. Well, I think that's uh, it for the show. Huh? I think yep. we, uh, I think we thing. got our grievances out. <laughs> 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 I'm not right. <laughs> Cross, you want to oh, take man. us out or? Yeah, uh, peace, love. That's, nah, I can't do that. They're gonna, they're gonna snap it up. But um, thank y'all for watching. Um, leave a like, leave some comments, good or bad. Um, have a great night and peace out. we signing off. Bye. No. Peace. <laughs> Deuces, sir.